what's it like to bike in Oakland, California? Got to put my uh, helmet on for this one. Stay fully protected. Stay focused in the zone. Yeah, that's the question we're asking today. What's it like to bike in Oakland, California? And I'm going to be using a bunch of online tools to try to answer that question to the best of my abilities. But I don't live in Oakland and I haven't visited Oakland. I haven't biked in Oakland. Um, so if you live in Oakland and bike there a ton to get groceries, mountain biking, bike touring, whatever it may be, I would love to interview you potentially for this show to arm people with useful information to make their everyday bike lives better. Um, so that being said, I'm going to take a deep dive into kind of what I have access to online. So as far as the walkscore.com bike score, Oakland is given a 65, um, which they argue means it's bikeable with some bike infrastructure if you zoom in so oakland is just over the water i guess is this the san francisco bay just over the san francisco bay from san francisco just south of berkeley um look they've got a trader joe's there and uh these are like dedicated bike paths and what i notice here is like there's a lot of them except they're not very well connected and that can be an issue as far as, yeah, great. You can go for a one mile run after work, but it's hard to really loop a longer ride together, especially if you're trying to commute. So in for instance, like this trail that goes only goes halfway across the highway or the uh, bridge, and maybe they've changed this by now, but from what I'm seeing here, that's what I see. Um, Berkeley has this five mile uh, ride, but again, we're not, looking at Berkeley, we're looking at Oakland. So it looks like, honestly, if you're going to be in an area with some good dedicated trail, Contra Costa Center, not too bad. But Oakland, got some trail options. If you want to check these out, go to traillink.com and uh, you can get info more information. Let's see where people are riding right now in Oakland. Not right now. This is data about where people have used Strava to track their bike rides. And um, you can see... You know, I don't see a ton of action actually along these rail trails. It doesn't seem like those are used too much. Like if you go see how bright this is in San Francisco, this is like their Central Park area, San Francisco, San, San Francisco Park, San Francisco Bay Park. Um, but along the water here and along those trails, it's not too bright. But I do see clearly some mountain biking here, which is a good sign, really close to city. And it, I mean, just a ton. Um, or so like, let's go to this parking lot here, which kind of takes you to the center. Um, we're starting in the center of Oakland. Again, this is going to vary based on where you live in Oakland or visit. Um, but it's about six miles. So that's definitely bikeable. Um, and then you can rip around the Reinhardt Redwood regional park. I wonder if they have redwood trees there. Not exactly sure, but if they do, it's probably sick. Um, let's see if there's some bike paths that take you near there it looks like you could take some yeah there's there's this path here which is trestle Glen road which is just probably like a low traffic road um but then yeah you've got a ton of riding in this area by the way if you don't know how to get to this part of google maps just go to click on this more and then biking and it toggles between between trails let me see does redwood how would how would Reinhardt Redwood Regional Park not have redwoods? Does Reinhardt does Reinhardt Redwood Park have redwoods? In addition to great forests of coast redwoods, the park's eight eighteen hundred and thirty three acres also contain other evergreens, chaparral, and grasslands. Wildlife. Golden Eagles are there. That was actually my high school name. Um, all right. As far as gravel riding, again, looks like there's a lot in that park. Um, very accessible. And then north as well here, Wildcat Peak. Um, but looks like the majority of the riding is right there. So, I mean, if you want to position yourself to the majority of the riding, um, recreational riding in Oakland, then San Leandro, um, Eastmont are going to be some good options. Or even like in Moraga, but then you're kind of on the opposite side. 
of those. As far as bike shops, um, we got a good amount, good number. Um, Rhythm Bikes, Laurel Cyclery, Alameda Bicycle. And then you got a bunch in San Francisco too. If you like, for some reason, couldn't find a good shop in Oakland, definitely going to be a good bike culture there. I mean, there's just so many trails. Um, all right, bike packing, off-road, bike touring, travel, one of my favorite ways to go around. So there's this route called this San Francisco Peninsula Traverse. Really starts more in San Francisco, but you could definitely get there. Um, I'm surprised there there might be some trips you can do in this area of Oakland, but there's nothing at least on bikepacking.com yet. They're always adding stuff. Um, I'm curious what camping options are like around there. But uh, let's look at this San Francisco Peninsula Traverse and see what it looks like. Some pretty beautiful views. I've already looked at this in the San Francisco video, but a look at that path there. It's just so smooth. And this makes me just want to jump on my bike right now, which is actually broken. I got to fix it later. That's kind of sad. But yeah, beautiful options there. As far as bike touring, more on-road stuff, um, you're going to have... Let's see. You're going to have the Western Express that goes to San Francisco. Of course, you have the Pacific Coast Trail, which is just arguably one of the coolest ever. Um, I haven't done it yet, but can't wait to. And then you can also head out east to Sierra Cascades. You got options. You got options. Um, all right. Weather in Oakland, California, the average is an 8.7 out of 10. Um, that's pretty cool. So the comfort index shows you when it's not too hot, not too cold. It looks like the lowest month in Oakland is a 7.2 January, which means the summer is going to have the best weather, August, a 9.8 average. I mean, the weather must be so consistent. Um, it only gets 24 inches of rain per year. It's less than the average, no snow, 260 sunny days. So you're going to have a lot of year-round riding there. Um, quite interesting. Cool. So Oakland, interesting place. Mountain biking right next to San Francisco. You've got, I would say, the interconnectality of the dedicated bike pass on TrailLink in the city didn't seem too great. Something they could probably work on. And maybe one of the reasons why the bike score um, was kind of low, 65. Uh, but nonetheless, an interesting place with a ton of potential. And I hope it just continues to get better. Um, like I said, if you live there, I would love to interview you, try to pick your brain about what it's like to bike there, get information from other people for other people um, to help them on their bike journeys as well. Um, thanks for tuning in. See y'all later.